Is there some frustration, of, you know, sort of building over the committee that you guys aren't executing right now? Well, I think everyone's a little bit frustrated. I think we're capable of better things, and I think uh, I think we just got to start hitting on all cylinders. I mean, I think I think the opportunities are there. We just got to start. Um, uh, doing a better job as a team of just capitalizing on those opportunities and uh, the only way to do that is just by having better effort in practice and and uh, better execution in practice. Is it surprising to you that you guys, your, your timing, your rhythm, everything is not clicking because you guys were clicking so well at camp? Well, not not really. I mean, uh, you know, it's a different team, you know, it's and teams kind of you know the season is a roller coaster. I mean that's that's really what it is, and you're going to experience highs and lows, and and uh, you're going to experience great achievements and uh, some pretty miserable defeats. Um, but also at the same time, we got to understand that we just got to stay even keel and and uh, approach each week as in you know as if it has a life of its own, and uh, do our very best to capitalize on the opportunities that are given to us this week. Greg, you know the armchair quarterbacks out there. The first thing they're going to do is they're going to attack you, the quarterback. And uh, there's an old quote that says, you know, the quarterbacks don't get too much praise and maybe too much criticism when there's a mm -hmm. loss. Mm -hmm. A lot of your teammates have sat up here before you and just totally taken up for you and said, hey, I let them stand in a pocket and face 350-pound guys that are, you know, coming at them and trying right. to break down a defense. What would you say to that? Well, I mean, quarterbacks are always going to get a lot of blame. That's that's part of the nature, and I understand that as, you know, as, as a quarterback at Alabama, you're going to, you know, you're going to be uh, – you're going to be the target of a lot of a lot of criticism, and that's fine. Um, you know, that's the nature of the position. That's that's the nature of uh, playing football here, and, and it's just part of part of being the quarterback here. So, um, you got to take it in stride. Don't let it get to you. And uh, I've definitely experienced a lot a lot more criticism than I've have uh, you know in last year and and in years past, but um, as opposed to this year. So, um, just got to continue to try to improve, and don't let don't let the outside fa factors affect or bother you. That you dealt with some of those up and downs last year, does that help you experience-wise to, to kind of get over this hump this year? Oh, of course. I mean, if I look at if I look at uh, you know where I was, you know, through seven games last year, it's night and day compared to this year. And you know, everyone's going to try to find a problem, and that's fine. And I try to find problems within it myself. I mean, I try to look at areas where I need to improve, and uh, there are plenty of areas you know out there that I that I'd like to get better at. And uh, but I look at from last year to this year. You know, I'm just I'm playing a whole lot better than last year, and I'm and I have a lot more confidence than last year. And I think uh, you know we just have to do a better job of being balanced within the offense, and and uh, just try to avoid negative plays, whether that's in the passing game, running game. Uh, that'll help us out as an offense and allow us to take more chances and hopefully be able to hit on a lot more explosives. Right, right, you guys, talk, you guys been, are you going to be able to execute the run game if you don't start getting stuff down the field? Well, I think actually I think it starts with the run game. I think you know in order to in order to hit things downfield, uh, we have to run the ball effectively. And a big reason why we were able to have a lot of uh, effectiveness last year uh, is because the run game was so great. So, but I got to do a better job of keeping us out of negative plays. My checks have got to be better. Uh, my, you know, my efficiency has to be better from a passing standpoint as far as hitting the quick and intermediate routes. Um, and that'll open up the run run game because if if you really kind of think about it, um, short and intermediate passes open up the run game, and the run game opens up. The long passes, so <laughs> it's kind of a uh, it's kind of a chain of events, and those are the things we just need to get better at. And every single part of those of that chain needs to improve. So um, we're just looking for ways to, to improve and looking for ways to uh, focus on getting better this week before we play a good opponent in Tennessee. Last one, Greg. Just just talk about the challenge of uh, you know going on the road again and, and uh, the rich tradition uh, with Alabama Tennessee. Well, it's obviously it's a great game. It's a game that means a lot to our fans. It's a game that means a lot to us, regardless of. Of what team, you know, what team is doing well and what team isn't doing as well, uh, it's still a, a very big game for us as, as players. So but we're looking forward to the challenge. Playing in Tennessee and in, in, in Knoxville is always difficult, and um, it's definitely going to be a, a fun and, and great atmosphere for us to be able to compete and, and do our very best in.